Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 13 from exercise 2.5, chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorems 2.1 to 2.9, exercises 2.1 to 2.4, examples 1 to 14, and questions 1 to 12 from the same exercise 2.5. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 13 from exercise 2.5, chapter 2 triangle says, D and E are points on the sides C, A and C B respectively of a triangle A, B, C right angled at C. Prove that A, E square plus B, D square is equal to A, B square plus D, E square. So there is no figure given in this question. First of all, let us draw the figure. So since they have mentioned triangle A, B, C which is a right angle triangle at C. So let us draw a triangle A, B, C right angled at C. So here angle C is equal to 90 degree. D and E are the points on the sides CA and CB. So here we have side CA and CB. So we have to mark D as the midpoint of CA and E as midpoint of BC. So here we have to prove that AE square plus BD square is equal to AB square plus DE square. To obtain this AE square, so let us join AE. To obtain BD square, let us join BD. Similarly, to to obtain DE square, we have to join DE. First of all, let us write down what we have to. So write down in solution to prove AE square plus BD square is equal to AB square plus DE square. To solve this problem, let us take the hint from what we have to prove. Since here we have to prove AE square plus BD square, so let us consider the triangle which is formed by side AE. So here we have the side AE which is a right angle triangle formed by the side AE, it is ACE. Right. So consider the triangle ACE. So write down in, in right triangle ACE by Pythagoras theorem. Apply the Pythagoras theorem for this right angle triangle ACE. Since AE is the side opposite right angles, AE will be the hypotenuse. So we can write hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. Right. So AE square will be equal to EC square plus AC square. So let this be equation 1. So again taking the hint from what we have to prove, we have to prove AE square plus BD square. So which is triangle formed by the side BD. The right angle triangle formed with the side BD is BCD. So now let us consider the triangle BCD. So write down in right triangle BCD. Let us apply the Pythagoras theorem again by Pythagoras theorem. In triangle BCD, the side opposite the right angle is BD. So BD will be the hypotenuse. BD square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides that is BC square plus CD square. So BD square is equal to BC square plus CD square. So let this be equation 2. So if you look at what we have to prove, we have to add AE square plus BD square right on the left hand side. So let us add equation 1 and 2 to obtain AE square plus BD square on the left hand side. Write down add 1 plus 2. So we will get AE square plus BD square is equal to. We have to add the right hand side parts of these two equation 1 and 2. So that will be EC square plus AC square plus BC square plus CD square. So therefore we have obtained the left hand side of the equation what we have to prove. Now let us obtain the right hand side part of the equation. So here we have AB square plus DE square. If you consider the side AB which is a triangle formed by the side AB, the right angle triangle formed with the side AB is ACB. Let us again apply the Pythagoras theorem to this right angle triangle. Write down in right triangle ABCB by Pythagoras theorem. Since AB is the side opposite right angle, AB is the hypotenuse. So AB square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. So that will be BC square plus AC square. Right. So write down AB square is equal to BC square plus AC square. So let us name this as equation 3 and this as equation 4. Now coming back to what we have to prove, we have AB square plus 
DE square. So let us consider the triangle with the side DE. If you look at in the figure, the right angle triangle formed with the side DE is DCE. So now let us consider the triangle DCE and apply the Pythagoras theorem. So write down in right triangle DCE by Pythagoras theorem. So here since DE is side opposite the right angle, so DE will be the hypotenuse. So DE square is equal to sum of square of the other two sides that is EC square plus DC square. So write down DE square is equal to EC square plus CD square. So let this be equation 5. So here from equation 4 and 5 we have obtained the value of AB square and DE square that is the right hand side of what we have to prove. So the value of AB square is BC square plus AC square and DE square is AC square plus CD square. If you look at the equation 3 we have AC square plus BC square. So let us substitute this as AB square from equation 4 and similarly we have EC square and CD square which is equal to DE square from equation 5. So now so therefore let us substitute the equation 4 and 5 in equation 3. We will obtain so left hand side is AE square plus BD square and that will be equal to Instead of AC square plus BC square from equation 4, we will write AB square plus and instead of EC square and CD square from equation 5, we will write DE square, right? So we obtained the equation what we had to prove, right? That is AE square plus BD square is equal to AB square plus DE square. So this problem is very simple. You have to take hint from what we have to prove. Hopefully you have understood this problem. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving question number 14 from exercise 2.5, chapter 2, triangle so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc insert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 2 triangles shown on the screen thank you